Yo, 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 yo. What's up, what's up, what's up? Nah, 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 nah. Gonna continue this casty cast of Kokanee and JH. Unfortunately, the previous game was corrupt. It was a TVZ. I do not know who won. It corrupted super early. So the score is currently 4 to 1. And gonna do two games for this part number three. Gonna be a good position for Kokanee. Going at four gateways. Gonna be annoying with the Probodobe. And yeah, hopefully this doesn't corrupt. I think it was because there was just so many observers last game. And they were actually in the game. Maybe one of them hacked or something like that. Who knows? But you got the Nexus into the four gateways. Still probably speed this up a little bit. Gonna see a hatchery come down. And JH has a really, really strong ZVP in my opinion. But we saw that PVZ of Kokanee versus JH that was an hour long and I'm gonna get a probe right there. And Kokanee really just put on a clinic. Come on, get that hatchery. We're waiting for it. Please don't corrupt. Get that hatchery. Oh, this larva got in the way. So, extremely annoying. And he's going to start putting some creep colonies right here so he can get these guys on the hill. There's your hatchery right there. Guys, if you like the channel, subscribe and give the video a like. And I have a feeling that JH is going to go for Hydras. So we'll see. He's got the gas to make a Hydras den, but looks like he's saving up to get that lair right now. And here comes an attack from. Kokoni gonna pull these guys back. There's your lair on the way. Another hatchery gonna come down. There's your robotics and citadel. Gonna see all of this tech right here. So nicely done by JH. There's your Hydro's den. I think he made that Hydro's den a little premature. Maybe not. Because he's so close that he can start dropping some zealots in here. So we'll see. There's a Stargate. Gonna get a couple more gateways. Score is four to one. Kokanee. Another hatchery over here. And there's an evolution chamber. And JH, a really smart player, but sometimes doesn't really play as fast. He'll play about 200 APM. Looks like he's sending a, is this an expo drone? Expo. He's gonna send that Zergling over there. So he can move his drones when needed. Gonna start Dean up. Let's see if he gets that upgrade. Gonna get that upgrade right away. Another hatchery coming down. And here's your first Corsair, or drop of Zealots right here. Might just attack some drones. Gonna split these guys up. So we got one, two, three. I want to say maybe you got four. Five. So pretty good drop right there. And there's your range for JH. And we're gonna start seeing those Templar drops from Kokanee. Got a Corsair, gonna be annoying and deter these guys. Probably see a Spore Colony right there. Needs to bring these Hydras on over.
Getting a lot of cannons around his base. And Overlord's speed is done for JH. Here comes your drop. Templar drops of a minute. It's a fake drop into the real drop. Nicely done. Drops the Templar. Going to get the storm off. Beautiful setup from Kokanee. And got a decent amount of drones right there. All the way down to 29 drones. See if Lurker upgrade gets made next. And Kokanee just going to keep going with the drops. Yeah, another robotics is needed. Getting his upgrades. I mean, his Protoss versus Zerg back then, really, really good. And he's got a shuttle over here. We'll see if he maybe makes one of these into a spore. He's got this choke. We got a drop right here. We got a drop right here. Let's see what this looks like for JH. This is the real one. This is your fake one. He's got it just chilling there, making it look like he's not doing anything. This one's going to get through. And there's one storm, two storms. And going to get some of the drones, but not too many. Still 36 left. I'll probably see some dragoons start getting made. There they are. Going to cancel that. And Kokanee at 153 supply, so can kind of start going for the attack if he wants to. Building some random pylons right here. Here's your drop. There's your observatory. Lurker upgrade. Here comes your drop right here. Gonna drop these guys and just have to storm. So I'm not gonna get any drones right there. And now JH. I think he should get one set of hydras right here. Yeah, he is. And looks like some gateways are getting made in the middle. Overlord are gonna spot that out. And another drop right here. Lurker's getting made. This is gonna get spotted out. And he's going to get the correct one. So nicely done by JH. And now JH has 110 supply, 56 drones. And I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there's always sirens going off. I live in Chicago. Always, always crime out here. It's crazy. It is crazy. Here's another drop. It's going to have 111, I'm sure. Yeah, just about. I built some robotics in the middle as well. JH might go for a drop. He's going to go for a drop. And this is looking like it's open. So, he might end this with a drop right here. Oh, this is going to be epic. Here comes your drop. Corsair going to spot that out. Does he have any Templars back here? He does have a bunch of Templars. Going to start dropping these units. Lurkers, we got a drop coming right here from Kokanee. Storm's coming down. And going to get all of the drones of JH. And all these Templars are going to save the day. Another drop getting picked up, though. Let's see if an observer gets made. There's your observer. comes your next drop I'm gonna try to take out the main going for it can't believe I have never seen any of these games and yeah that's just not gonna work but look at he's got 2k and 2k so he's got a lot of money Hopefully this isn't corrupt. It's 
Some cannons coming down back here. I'm surprised Kokani just doesn't go for the attack. He's got 111 upgrades. Bunch of units in the middle. Here comes his attack. Might have 222 very soon. And here comes your big attack. There's your observer. Level 2 upgrade on attack for JH. Here's a drop gonna sneak in here. There's your storm. Gonna get a bunch of drones all the way down to 20, and that's gonna be your GG, most likely. McGee ski 28 kills and another storm. Down to 13 drones. And just gonna pump up a storm. Arbiter Tribunal. I mean, Kokini makes his PBZ look. Makes PBZ look easy, but. Definitely not against someone like JH. So. It's just because Kokini is one of the best to ever do it on the West. Two, two, one upgrades. See if another drop. Yeah, it looks like another drop's coming. There's your Templars. Here comes your attack. And there is your GG McGee. And right now, Kokanee going to be up 5 to 1 on JH. That was game number 7. Game number six, I tried to do this one, but it corrupted for some reason. So I'm going to go right into this game number eight, a TVP. Hopefully this doesn't corrupt. And Kokanee going to be in a nice little spot. Might be able to abuse JH right here. And they're going to complain. And JH likes snow, which is cool. He's one of my favorite ASL players. If not my favorite right now. Here's a bunker coming down from Kokanee. Gonna get a, an engineering bay to kind of wall this off. Using the marine to get some information. We'll see how Kokanee plays this. He's got these guys nicely. Nice little spot. He might lift this up and get some information with this. There's some fire bats getting made. Has a decent amount of gas. We'll see if he gets range or if he gets a command center. Pulling these guys back. There's your factory on the way. Gonna save that marine. And let's see what JH is up to. He's got cyber on the way. Got the extra nexus, another gas coming down. Pumping out the zealots. And just gonna make a deep old wall right here. Nice little move from Kokanee. Looks like he might try to finish it. No, he's actually going to build a bunker right here. Got the command center on the way. Factory getting close to done. Probably going to get one more gas pretty soon. He does have a decent amount of gas right now. Going to lift this up. And now JH is going to go for the attack. Put some of these guys in the bunker. Gonna have to micro these guys. I don't think he has stim yet, so. Just a couple fire bats in here though. And there's a decent amount of units back here. So he should be completely fine. 
No medics yet. I'm gonna build a bunker. Maybe a little extra safe. I don't think he needs to be, but he is. He's got the tank on the way. Might attack this siege part. Gonna repair this nicely. Losing an SCV right there. Sending some more units on over. Yeah, gonna kill the siege upgrade. So smart move there. Stim, still not done yet. Another factory on the way. There's your Citadel of a Dune robotics right there. Stim coming down. Gonna get that machine shop again. Getting comsat. And we'll see if he scans right away. See that cannon right there, getting some turrets for defense. Probably get a turret up here in case he's up against DTs. Here's your support bay, two more robotics. And just gonna play off of the one command center. Turret over here. It's got a decent amount of SCVs, kinda just chilling. Needs to make sure these guys are all doing something. Build a barracks, wall this off a little bit. And I'll probably start putting some tanks right here. There's your scan. I'm gonna see three robotics. A couple of gateways coming down. No Stargate just yet for JH. Spending his money pretty nicely. See if he just maybe puts the tank right here and sieges it. A lot of cannons coming down right here for JH. Another command center coming down for Kokani. Another barracks. He's got these here for drop purposes. And going to keep just bunkering up, defending. I think he should. Siege this tank up though. Engineering bay right there. Skin coming down. And here comes a drop right here. Gonna drop the Reavers. Two Reavers right here. Frontal attack as well. Gonna siege up this tank, gonna run these guys right on through and just try to start attacking from right here. Gonna send these guys up. Gonna use the tank to hit the Reavers. That tank's gonna go down. Reaver gonna go down. And this Reaver's pretty low HP. And we'll probably see another drop come soon from JH. Gonna kill that Reaver. Two tanks gonna spawn. And now we'll probably see some Templar drops. There's some Zealots in here. And that turret's gonna go down right there. Here comes another drop. Bunch of Zealots. Got to pull the SCVs. But nothing in there, so it should be completely fine. Here's your Templars. Needs to pull these guys back. There's your one upgrade on attack. Some more gateways getting made. A couple Stargates down here. Probably start building some more turrets again. Here comes your drop. Gonna try to sneak in the Templar drop, which he does. And gonna get the storm off. 
And only going to kill about four SCVs, but still a Templar in here. And he knows about it. Going to drop and get all the SCVs, it looks like. Ooh, he didn't really so wow. Got two kills only with that. So 62 SCVs, still four Kokanee. So nice little dodge right there. Another drop coming, and we're gonna see probably Corsairs right here. Get another Templar drop. Here comes your Templar drop. Have to pull the SCVs, he does. There's one storm, two storms. Gonna kinda miss that storm, still at 64 SCVs. And JH is basically maxed out, so we'll see if he just tries to drop right here and attack the front. That's what I would do if I was him. But here comes another drop. More cannons coming down. Reaver in there. See if the Reaver gets a shot off. He's at 69. SCV's not going to get any kills. Got maybe two SCV's. I think he just needs to go with a mass, mass drop of all the units. And just drop right here. We'll start building in the middle. Kokini having a hard time to build in his base up. He's just defending against drops, basically. These SCVs chilling here. One zero two upgrades. Here comes your drop over here. And we'll see if maybe he goes for a double drop. Drop right here and then a drop up here. So here comes this drop. Going to just drop a bunch of units right here. And then I'll probably go with this drop really soon. Here comes this drop. Not seeing it. And... Gonna get a nice storm off down to 60, 43 SCVs. And another drop coming in here, I think. Did he forget about it? He's got some zealots in here. Down to 40 SCVs. I mean, JH is playing this one like a beast. Another drop right here. Drop coming through. There's your storm. Lots of storms down to 36 SCVs. 35. Now JH can get rid of some of his probes. Or use some of these probes for gas. But I think you should just drop right here and then just go for the frontal attack. You can end this one. Drop coming on this side. Bunch of cannons coming down in the middle. Here's your drop. Gonna get spotted out. Pulling the SCVs. There's your storm. Gonna drop the 31. And look at this. This is just gonna be a massive, massive drop. 
really dominating Kokanee this game. Still needs to get those upgrades though. Looks like he's gonna go with carriers pretty soon, but I think he could just keep going for the drops. Try to go for the kill. Another double drop right here. Drop right here. Gonna stem these guys up. Reavers. Might be able to take the main. And he's gonna save the main. Here comes another drop though. Three Templars in here. And gonna get one storm. So 46 SCVs. Still alive here. Kokanee's still surviving. Now we got carriers on the way. Bunch of gateways and Cannons in the middle. We'll see if a scanner two comes down. comes another drop on the SCVs there's a storm a couple storms and gonna drop to 49 SCVs carriers are getting done pretty soon There's your covert ops. Eight carriers. Let's see if he gets the lockdown right away. There's your lockdown. Two more carriers on the way. Arbiter Tribunal. Here's your carriers. Here comes a drop. Gonna sneak through. Gonna try to snipe it out. And he does not, but does not get a big storm off. So fortunate for Kokanee right there. He's got 64 SCVs at 153 supply. Got a frontal attack coming. Gonna build some turrets in his base. Some more carriers coming in here. He's got to pull these carriers back. We'll see if he starts getting some ghosts. There's a ghost. 
Oh, he's getting cloaked. Now he's got lockdown coming. More carriers on the way. Couple of arbiters. And Kokini is going to survive that. And just gonna build a ton more gateways in the middle. Kokini close to maxed out. We'll start seeing if he uses lockdown here. comes a drop Templars in each not pulling the SCVs we get one storm off two storms See if he cloaks these guys first and then he starts doing lockdown. There's one lockdown. Here comes your arbs. Maybe we'll see some reavers get dropped in here. Here comes a drop. Templars. There's your storm. 61, 62 SCVs. Got to pull these guys back. Nuclear launch and now we're going to see a nuke right here. I don't see an observer. That. There's your nuke. Dang, I did not expect that. There's your nuke right there. Here comes your lockdown. Here comes a Templar drop. Gonna try to sneak it in. And gonna miss the storm. Comes another drop. Templars. And Kokini gotta start pulling. There's your storm. Gonna get 15 kills. Another. Decent amount right there. But these carriers are slowly pushing through right here. See a lockdown from this guy. Here's your observers. And we'll probably see another drop come through. Zealots coming in to attack. Here's your R, maybe a recall or stasis. Stasis is the minerals. Nicely done by JH. Some more lockdowns. Here comes a drop. But this one's looking like it's over.
Another drop. I mean, I think JH played this one really, really nicely. Pretty much dominated Kokanee. There goes the main. And there is going to be your GG McGee. So, two games right there. Going to go one and one. Both Protoss are going to win. Give it a like. Give it a subscribe. And I will continue this series in a different cast. Talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Peace.